This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Matt Adele, CEO at Beatport. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and I'm here with Matthew Adele, the CEO at Beatport. So hi Matthew, how's it going? Hi, it's nice to see you. It's great to see you. And so, uh, first of all, I, I never had you on the show or, or Beatport. So, Thanks for uh, having me. I wanna, I wanna, no, it's great to have you. And so I want to chat a little bit about the, the beginnings of the company. So how did Beatport start out? Well, I was not one of the founders. Yeah. Uh, I joined several years after, uh, but three DJs in Denver uh, were buying vinyl records and, you know, ripping them effectively so that they could use them in digital DJ software. And their idea, even before iTunes existed, was to make digital music available to DJs who need high quality music, which are also large files. Uh, and and it just grew incredibly quickly because uh, there was such demand for it at the time. They were really, really uh, visionaries in that respect. So what was the company when you came on board and what happened after? I joined the company about four years ago. Uh, joined as the COO and then became the CEO and uh, we've been very very lucky uh, that dance music has exploded globally. I think yes. a lot of the visionary work of our founders uh, in the original years really led to part of why dance music has, has exploded globally. Yeah. Beatport's been really lucky to go from being the most important place for DJs to get their music to being the most important place for DJs to get their music that also happens to be the world's largest aggregation of dance music fans in the world visiting one place. Yeah, that's awesome. And so labor relationships for you are, are a key part of the service. So having a really great relationship with uh, uh, some of the, uh, the the best dance labels in the world. So how you do you, how do you uh, keep that going and uh, uh, how do you see them adopting Beatport instead of, uh, for example, other services uh, as, as their outlet for releasing digital music? Well, there'd be no Beatport and there'd be no dance music without independent labels. Yeah. It's one of the great things about dance music. At Beatport, about 90 to 95% of our sales are independent labels. Right. There's no other music service or retailer in the world that's really like that at our scale. Uh, there are other great smaller dance shops sure. uh, that I love. Uh, Bleep is particularly a, a favorite of mine from back in the day. Uh, but uh, no one really rivals the scale of Beatport in terms of uh, the value of having a record in the Beatport top 10 and what that can mean to your promotion moving ahead for that record. Yeah. I'm very, very proud that the guys started Beatport 10 years ago during a time when it was hard for independent labels to even collect the money they were owed. And Beatport has never missed a payment. Uh, so we take very seriously our relationship with the world of independent labels because yeah. you never know where the next great record is going to come from. Absolutely, and in, in that sense, so there must be a huge amount of curation that you also do yourselves within Beatport to uh, find uh, and, and curate the, the music that you that you love and that you want to get in front Absolutely. of your customers. Absolutely. First and foremost, we don't just take anything. You know, iTunes works with lots of services that would record this conversation and upload it to iTunes right away. Right. And uh, we're only interested in carrying records that are good for DJs. And so when we work with the major labels, for instance, we don't carry all their stuff. We're the yeah. only shops in the world that work with the major labels and don't carry everything. We only carry what's right for Beatport. Uh, let's talk about the uh, international uh, you know, scope of the service as well. Are, are, are a lot of your deals, are, are they worldwide? Because I know in dance music, it's quite customary to be able to have a worldwide distribution deal. It, it is. Uh, there are labels and releases where the, co the content, the music, the tracks can't be available globally. And that's driven by the labels, not Beatport. Right. Our charts are global yeah. and if you don't release to Beatport on a global basis it's very very difficult to have a big record right. I believe dance music is global uh, I believe the internet is global and the rest of the music industry is still catching up to that yeah and I mean the data that you have must be incredible just to work out uh, where the, the the next flares of, uh, of dance music where, where it's coming from and what who is really uh, buying into it in different parts of the world so uh, what are the pockets of, of interest that are really exciting you at the moment in terms of a worldwide consumption well my favorite thing about Beatport is it's the most important tastemakers in the world, you know, right. coming and buying and shopping at Beatport. So we do get to learn an awful lot uh, from what they're doing. The DJs that come and create their charts that get posted also provide us a 
great amount of insight. And users know that. Millions of people come to Bport primarily to come and discover the DJ chart stuff that Skrillex has made or that Clark from our office has made or your local favorite DJ has made and posted up to Bport. Yeah. Uh, those are really significant things for us. And they come from all over the world. Globally, I'm really happy to say that Deep House is... Uh, you know, strong right now. Yeah. And we'll see a continuation and an evolution of bass music. I think that'll be particularly popular for rock fans in the U.S. in the coming years. Yeah. Uh, I'm really surprised that we're seeing a lot of drum and bass, old school drum and bass come back, you know, come back and liquid drum and bass uh, is sort of the flavor of the week. Uh, so I don't want to make any predictions and yeah. I'm looking forward to when we're talking about the brand new stuff and not stuff that's back, you yeah. know, from in the day. But as an old man from Chicago, Deep House is making me really happy right now. That's great. So, uh, Beatport uh, is now part of the SFX uh, family, yeah. I guess. And so, uh, that's really interesting. You know, there, there's a lot of very interesting companies that are being acquired now by SFX, mm -hmm. creating an interesting portfolio of companies. So, has that affected the company in any way or, or changed the way you do things? Well, it's given us a lot of new opportunities. For right. instance, later this year, there are going to be Beatport stages at a ton of the festivals. Yeah. Uh, and someone from our Beatport office is programming that. We've already announced a Beatport Clear Channel Pete Tong radio show that's coming up in the U.S. Fantastic. in the coming months. Uh, there'll be other Beatport branded uh, programs coming to television and radio. And what we hope to do is make working with Beatport for the independent labels even more valuable. Right. You know, if we have a weekly top 40 syndicated radio show in the U.S. that features everything that populates Beatport's top 10, that makes it even more exciting for an artist and a label to be able to achieve that. Absolutely, and I was talking with the CEO of Rock in Rio a couple of months back, and he was also excited about you know the fact that you are part of the family because yeah. you have a Las Vegas uh, festival coming up uh, mm -hmm. next year, and that's if you have a beat for stage, it's going to be quite interesting. Yeah, I'm exciting. very excited to have our team working on that. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. And so uh, looking at the, the, the product side of things, mm -hmm. uh, uh, where is it, you know are you still primarily web based? Or where do you see the most consumption of we music? We have uh, it's primarily web based, but we're adding a lot of more Mobile services later this year, particularly focused on the non DJ. Right. Um, DJs could still use it for discovery, but DJs still need the file, still need, sure. you know, need to be able to put your key points in. It's a different behavior, obviously. Yeah. So we're going to develop some mobile stuff for the mainstream consumer. There's going to be a big API release in coming months. We want to unleash a lot of the Beatport. Um, ecosystem on developers and let that let's see them what they can come up with yeah uh, and we're launching the next version of Beatport Pro which is our desktop application uh, the first version was primarily an entry point for the store that yeah. we shot in a different environment and now we're adding content management so right. you can manage all your sound samples loops hits patches, uh, as well as your DJ content in one place. Because I don't know if you've ever accidentally dragged uh, uh, a file of 2,000 kick drum noises in <laughs> iTunes. It really <laughs> ruins it's your ability really annoying, to use yeah. iTunes. So we're, yeah. we're really happy to be building a desktop application. It's going to be for Mac first. Windows will follow. That's really focused on the needs of music creators. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. And so have you have you looked at all into the licensing framework, into helping uh, people uh, you know, uh, uh, license samples or uh, uh, stuff like that? That is a difficult. That is a difficult one. Yeah. No, I'm not sure we can solve that for everybody today. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a very difficult question. And uh, you know, your customers are super important to you. So, Matt, what do you do to make sure that they, they are they are keeping well served and, and Well, we have customer care, yeah. uh, which is unique. I don't know if you've ever tried to contact iTunes customer care. It's pretty hard to get someone on the phone. So yeah. we're right there for people. Uh, the you know the music people buy from us is not an impulse purchase. They need it for uh, either their work or a hobby that's so important to them, a hobby even you know diminishes really the personal value it has to people. Yeah. Uh, so if you've you know gotten 10 new tracks for your set tomorrow and uh, you know you went through the purchase flow and the download doesn't seem to work, you know, we you need that music. You know, it's 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 a demand and we're there to make sure you know that's gonna work for you. It you know the guys who started Beatport were really prescient in making sure Beatport had no DRM. Right. Uh, you know, at a time where everything was DRM'd up, because our focus is to make sure DJs can use the music wherever they need to. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and that that makes complete sense. And uh, and we're seeing some really exciting developments on the software side as well for DJs to be able to to uh, remix and, and do exciting stuff wherever they are. So yeah, I'm particularly into Native Instruments uh, Tractor DJ app on my iPad right now. Yeah, that's great. I had a yeah. chat with them uh, uh, earlier this week. It's so stuff. yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool. And then so you know, looking forward for the company. You know, what what's what's exciting you uh, today and 
uh, is there anything in particular that you're working on that you that you want well, to Well, we're working on be celebrating Beatport's 10 year anniversary throughout awesome. the rest of this year. I'm looking forward to doing that. We really want to celebrate the last 10 years of dance music because that's really what we're about. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm looking forward to, you know, finding all the opportunities with our new, you know, brother and sister companies at SFX and, and how we can work together. Uh, it's going to be an exciting few years. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much, Matt, for your time. It's my pleasure. And thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest 2014. You can find out more on digitalmusictrans.com or youtube.com slash digitalmusictrans. Thank you.